part six, another confession. Too bad. I know the truth. I'm both. Craig and Bully. When Julia returns from walking her charges, I race over and give her a good old Bob-style hello. Lots of yipping and twirling, followed by some attempts of jump into her arms. Humans love that stuff. Julia looked at me sternly and says, Robert, down. I leave some more because I'm determined to convince her I'm incorrigible, untrainable. It's part of my charm, my boblessness. Down, she says again from her coat pocket. She pulls out a little metal clicker along with some treats. I hate that clicker. It meant to help train me, but it's like cricket bully. Here's the theory. I do something right, Julia clicks, gives me a treat. The click tells me when I'm behaving and the treat reinforces it. If that happens enough, before your very eyes, I'm supposed to, be, to transform into a good dog. Well, I ain't that easy. Down, Bob, Julia tries again. I want a treat, but not enough to cave. So I opt for a play bowl, a compromise. Julia sighs. You are definitely a challenging student. To my annoyance, she puts the treat back in her pocket. I think Julia may be on to me. Trust. A while ago, Julia got into her head that I needed to improve my manners. We went to a dog training class. I wasn't really into the whole sit and stay and do the tangle stuff. The worst command of all, the truly in, um, excusable, only a human could come up with it, uh, with it order. Leave it. Leave it means walk on by, Bob, sure. There's a piece of bacon just inches away from your drooling Pie hole, but do me a favor and just pretend it's not there, okay? Uh, not okay. Where I come from, you never pass up a free meal. UFO, UFO drops to the carpet, it's mine. And I'll be chowing it down before you can say, where the heck is my meatball? Within minutes, I was accused of being an under-motivated student, which is totally unfair. I am highly motivated. Just show me some cheese, please. Anyways, I may or may not have been a little unruly. Class clown stuff. Tail spinning, a little random peeing, some zombie, uh, zoomies uh, just for show. Class? You see the crazy, crazy dashing around he's doing? Said the teacher, pointing at me with an accusing finger. We call that a frap. Frantic random act activity period. She pulled Julia aside. He's a smart dog, she said, but he's messing with you, which was true. But I hate I hated getting caught in the act. I thought I was more sub, sub, subtle. Bob needs to know who's boss, said the teacher. He needs to see you as a pack leader. Give him some time. I see this a lot with four more strays. Takes them a while to trust people, like forever in my case. As we left the class early, I yelled, so long, suckers, to my classmates. Couldn't help rubbing it in just a little. My car thing. I suppose the real reason for the training stuff is in my bad manners, although they leave a bit to be desired. It's my car thing. I've always had a hang up around cars and trucks, also riding lawnmowers, go-karts, anything with four wheels, an engine, and a driver. Don't like them. Don't want to ride them. them. Don't want anything to do with them. Those uh, co-pilot dogs with their heads hanging out the window, flying their drool, fl drool, drool flags, boneheads. First of all, it ain't safe. And second of all, bad stuff can happen after you climb into a car. Take it from me. When Julia and George and Sarah realize I have transportation issues, they try to lure me into the backseat of their car with treats. But you'd be surprised how stubborn I can be. I yelped so loud, the neighbors came running out to see what was happening in the poor little doggy. Score one for the poor little doggy. Click. That's when they started clicker training me. Click, here's a treat. Come closer to the car. 
Bob, click, here's a treat. Watch while I open the car door, Bob. Click, here's a treat. Come right up to the seat, Bob. Click, here's a treat. Come on, in, Bob. Bob, Bob, where are you, Bob? Yeah, it was like that a lot. Options. Still haven't been in a car or a truck or a tractor for, the, for that matter. When I have to go to the rhymes with pet threat, Julia and her uh, parents walk me there. They say elephants have long memories. Well, so do dogs, people. It's not like I'm afraid. I'm just exercising my options. Full wag. Are you ready to head over to the park? George asks as he passes through the living room. He's carrying two flashlights and a roll of masking tape. Yep, Julia says, and I do a head tilt to show I'm intruged by the conversation. The place where Ivan and Ruby live is called Wild World, Wild World Zool, Zoological Park and Sanctuary, but everybody just calls it the park. George works at the park as head groundkeeper, which means I've got some sway, and everyone who's employed there loves Julia. Give me a minute. I just need to grab my coat, says George. Straight home after that, uh, though, Julia, says Sarah, just in case the weather gets worse. One minute, the weatherman says we're going to have a little shower. Next minute, it's the storm of the century. Julia scratches my head. I thought hurricane, hurricane Gus wasn't coming till tomorrow. Sometimes they change course, says Sarah. They can be unpredictable. You know, George says with a wink, in the old days, they only named hurricanes after women. Julia grounds, that is so sexist. It's not just the wind that I'm worried about <laughs> on <coughs> this one, George says. It's the so storm surge that could be a problem, flooding. Julia tries, Julia tries to make me wear them, her mom's latest creation, a, knit, a knitted dog sweater, sweater with security ridding on it written on it, which I suppose is a ironic reference to my petite size. I politely decline. All right, you win, Julia sighs. Ready for your walk, Bob? At the mention of the, world wa uh, the word walk, I go all crazy mutt, so it's clear I'm on board with idea. Humans love it when we get silly. I think they're so weighed down by people problems that sometimes they need to be reminded what happy looks like. Julia attaches my string. I try for a little tug of war, but she refuses to buy it. Let's go see Ivan and Ruby, she says. Just hearing those names send me, sends my tails into full wag.